From the Era Caldera to the Yellowstone Caldera, there are many volcanoes that could explode in the future or in our lifetime. Now this is just a very small list of some of the arguably most destructive volcanoes, but of course there are many other volcanoes around the world. Here are your top 10 volcano eruptions that could destroy the world. In our number 10 spot, we have the Era Caldera. The Era Caldera is quite possibly one of the most troubling calderas in the world. It is located in Kagoshima, Japan. It is considered a super colossal volcano with volcanic material that could eject up to 100 kilometers. If you don't know what super colossal is, it basically means that this volcano has a volcanic explosive index of 7 VEI, which means that it could possibly make a significant impact of damage on its surrounding area if it were to erupt. The highest VEI that a volcano can have is an 8, so that should give you some perspective on how big the eruption was. It is 150 square miles. Now it hasn't erupted since 22,000 BC, but hey, it could be overdue. Hopefully not. It has an on and off active volcano which forms part of the era caldera, the Sakurajima. So scientists believe that this super colossal is not quite sleeping. They say that populations within 100 kilometers of these volcanoes are at dire risk. But then it is also said that the VEI 7 volcanoes have the power to create a mini ice age. So that's not terrifying. In a number nine spot, we have the Taupo Caldera. The Taupo Caldera is located in New Zealand. And this mega colossal is one of the last mega colossals to erupt about 26,500 BC which is quite a long time ago. A mega colossal is a type of volcano that has a volcanic explosivity index of eight, which means that it has the potential to send the world into its next ice age. And there's much speculation over whether this is likely to happen in our life as something that we're probably due for our next mega eruption. But most don't agree with this at all. However, this is one thing we can never fully predict. The Taupo apparently has one of the world's most beautiful landscapes, and its lake was actually created during its last eruption. The caldera is 485 square miles and started to show signs of awakening in 181 AD. Today it shows tons of signs of volcanic activity in the form of hot springs and venting. If it were to erupt, it can have volcanic material erupt at up to a thousand kilometers. Wow. So yeah, one could assume that it would most likely destroy the world. Coming up in our number eight spot, we have Lake Toba. This volcano is 1,080 square miles, located in North Sumatra, Indonesia. It is known as the big sister of another well-known volcano, Yellowstone. About 74,000 years ago, it ejected about several thousand times more materials than Mount St. Helen did in its eruption in 1980, a very popular eruption that most know about today. So yeah, it's a mega colossal volcano. It is actually said that it had the largest known volcanic eruption in 25 million years. Fun fact, some scientists theorize that Lake Toba's past ancient eruption might explain a mystery in the human genome. We believe that our genes are from a couple thousand people from tens of thousands of years ago. But through studying specific fossils from this area, there is evidence that suggests that there are signs of civilizations that were much, much older. And so the theory is that perhaps they both could be true if people survived this super eruption. But of course, this is all speculation and theory for now. In our number seven spot, we have the Valles Caldera. This is a volcano that has a volcanic explosivity index of seven. And this is another super colossal that you want to look out for. It is located in northern New Mexico in the Jemez Caldera. The Valles Caldera is a wide volcano that has been suspected to have formed due to the western United States part of the tectonic plate pulling apart. Its last eruption was around 1,264,000 BC, with 150 cubic miles of rock and ash that traveled as far as Iowa. This volcano is not asleep though. There are signs of heating as there are hot springs that are active. In our number six spot, we have the Long Valley Caldera. 
The Long Valley Caldera is located in East Central California. This caldera is 200 square miles near the Nevada state line. This volcano previously last erupted about 760,000 years ago, and it was said that at this point, some of its ash went as far as Nebraska. Wow. Also, at one point in time, it was said to have had an eruption that had a VEI 8 level of impact. An interesting but possibly worrisome fact for those of us, including myself, that may struggle with anxiety, in the 1990s, large amounts of carbon dioxide gas from the magma below the ground began to seep up through the ground and it started killing trees in the caldera. Apparently, this is a big sign that we could be centuries, decades, or even years away from its next eruption. In our number five spot, we have Mount Tambora. This is another volcano located in Indonesia, specifically on the island of Sumbawa. This is a volcano that most recently experienced a huge, colossal eruption in the year 1815. This eruption had a VEI rating of 7. From what is known, tens of thousands of people died with an estimate of about 71,000. Heavy volcanic ash rain was observed as far away as the Maluku Islands. It shot 100 cubic kilometers of rock into the air, and as a result of the sulfate aerosol in the upper atmosphere, the weather in North America and Europe drastically changed. As you can imagine back then, so many people were farmers and relied on their crops, and so this created a major food shortage. Apparently in 1816, the people did not have a summer due to its impact, and so it became known as the year without a summer. Sounds like the worst year ever. I'm a summer gal myself, so that's just that just sounds like hell. <laughs> In our number four spot, we have La Garita Caldera. The La Garita Caldera is located in the San Juan field in the San Juan Mountains in southwestern Colorado in the USA. The La Garita Caldera is considered a mega colossal volcano with a volcanic explosivity index of eight. It has been estimated that about 30 to 40 million years ago, La Garita Caldera was created in what is known as one of the largest volcanic eruptions in Earth's history. Around 26,300,000 BC, the scale of La Garita eruption was the second greatest event of the Cenozoic era. The first being the asteroid that created the mass extinction some 66 million years ago. The ash flow resulted from the La Garita Caldera's famous eruption, also most notably the Fish Canyon Tuff, had a volume of 1,200 cubic miles. So yeah, most likely if it were to erupt again, then we would be goners. If we don't get hit by an asteroid first. In our number three spot we have Mount Pektu. This mountain is located on the Chinese North Korean border. In Pektu Mountain, there is a large crater lake called Heaven Lake inside the caldera. The caldera was formed after an eruption in year 946, which is known as the Millennium Eruption. It is also known to be one of the largest but yet violent eruptions to have occurred in the last 5,000 years. It has a VEI of 7 and it erupted about 100 to 120 kilometers of volcanic rock. It is said that the Koreans see a mythical quality to the volcano and its lake, and they consider it their country's spiritual home. The volcano is apparently mentioned in the national anthem of North Korea, and it is said that the Manchu people regard the volcano as their ancestral homeland. So hopefully it stays as positive as it is regarded and doesn't decide to wake up and have another violent eruption. In our number two spot, we have Mount Mazma. Located in Oregon in the United States, this volcano is considered a super volcano with a volcanic explosivity index of seven. Most of the mountain actually collapsed after a major eruption approximately 7,700 years ago. The collapse formed a caldera that holds what is known as Crater Lake, which has the deepest freshwater body in the US. Although Mazma is dormant, it is said that eruptions on a smaller scale are likely, which of course would impact its surrounding areas. Fun fact about Mount Mazma, scientists extensively study the Mazma and even more recently as it has shown signs of being a potential source of geothermal energy. 
In our first spot today, we have the Yellowstone Caldera. Arguably one of the largest active volcanoes in the world that it could explode any second, so run for your lives. Just kidding. No point, because if it does explode, then you'll props have no chance anyway, so seize the day and do what brings you joy. The Yellowstone Caldera last erupted 640,000 BC and is estimated to have ejected plus 8,000 times the ash and lava that Mount St. Helens did in the 80s. So yeah, it is considered a mega colossal super volcano. The caldera is located in western USA in the northwest corner of Wyoming. This area is known to have experienced some super eruptions. They say about 2.1 million years ago, there was a super eruption that created Huckleberry Ridge Tuff. And then the Henry Forks Caldera produced the Mesa Falls Tuff 1.2 million years ago. So volcano enthusiasts, this is a place you might want to check out. It was also the volcano that was featured in the movie 2012 that blew up Woody Harrison, so it's pretty famous. That's all the time I have for you today. I'm Melissa Milotti, and thank you for watching. Good day. The Yellowstone Caldera just erupted. No, it didn't. I did not read that right. A mega colossal is a type of volcano that has a volcanic explosivity. That's so hard to say. In our number three spot, we have Mount 